We're going to take a look in this video at averages and how they work. Well, you can sort of think of average like the middle. The average is really like the middle. Now, that's a simple way of explaining it, but let's look at something you all probably have some experience with. Let's look at, uh, let's say, two test scores. Let's say on one test you scored 80%. And let's say on the second test, you scored 90%. And you want to know the average, your average score for both tests. Well, really, how we calculate an average is we add up all of the things that we're measuring, and then we divide by the total number that we're measuring. And to show you what I mean by that, well, we've got two test scores. So if we add up if we add up our two test scores, then the average would be our two test scores added together. I'm going to omit the percents here just to make it neater. So we add up the 80 and the 90 that we scored on the test, and then we divide by 2 because there was two test scores. If there was three test scores, then we would add up each of them and then divide by three, not by two, because three was the total number of things that you added. So you have to sort of think about it like this, and that is you're adding two things in the numerator, so you've got to divide by two to get the average. If you add three things in the numerator, then you've got to divide by three. And how statistics works and averages work, you could add up um, you could add up an infinite number of things. Let's say you have uh, 100 people in a class. You could add up 100 scores and then divide by 100 to get the average. And so here, 80 plus 90 is 170, and 170 divided by 2 is 85. And so when I said, when I said that the average was sort of like the middle. That's true in this case, and primarily because we have two scores. The middle is actually a, a statistical measure, a statistical measure called the median. This is the middle. But the statistical measure of the, and this is what it's called, it's called the mean. The mean is really the average. So I don't want you to get confused and go home and think that the average is always the middle, um, because that is the case when we have two scores or two observations that we're adding or two numbers that we're adding together. But technically, when I said the middle, that really refers to something in statistics called the median. And if we look here at 2 plus uh, 3 plus, uh, let's say we have uh, 7. Okay, so let's say, we, let's say we took a quiz and we got scores of 2 and 3 and 7. And let's say they were all out of 10. Well, if we had scores, I'm just going to get rid of these addition signs for a moment. If we had scores of 2 and 3 and 7, okay, the average will be 2 plus 3 plus 7 over 3. Right, because we have three measurements. And 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 7 is 12, and 12 over 3 is 4. So this is the mean or the average. But statistically, if you were asked here, what is the median? The median is technically the middle mark. And if we have three, as long as you rank the scores from lowest to highest or highest to lowest, the median is the middle. And you see here, the middle mark here is three. So here, the median, the median is three. And it is not the same as the average. So remember, when you're finding the average, you want to add up all the observations and then divide by the total number. Now let's say uh, let's say uh, same concept but different idea. Let's say we have three boxes. 
So we have box one, box two, and box three. And let's say these boxes have to be equally weighted. If they have to be equally weighted, then how much should be in each box? How much should be in each box if their weights are to be equal? If their weights are to be equal and there are, sorry, there are uh, 21 pounds of product. So how much do we put in each? Well, we know that they're all the same, right? And so can you see here that we have 21 pounds total? And we now have to divide by 3 boxes. Because if we take the total weight and we divide by the number of boxes that we have, then we will get the amount in each box. So if we have 21 pounds and we divide by 3 boxes, then that would give us 7 pounds per box. And that is really an average here. Uh, it is an average, although we haven't really solved it that way. Watch this. How about box one plus box two plus box three? So we have three boxes. So the average, the average weight, the average weight of the boxes, if we divide by three, we have box one, box two, and box three. All divided by three should be equal to uh, the average. And we know that they're supposed to be of equal weight, so we know that box one and box two and box three are all the same weight. So that's just sort of looking at averages uh, in a little bit of a different way. And if we take a look at uh, one more problem, um, let's say uh, we have a question like this. And if you understand this one, I think you really uh, have an idea of average as the total of uh, value of all of the, whatever they are, weights or numbers or candies or chocolate bars, divided by the number, or the total number of uh, adding up all the test scores and dividing by the total number of tests and so on. So let's say we have an average box weight. Let's say we have an average box weight of 20 kilograms. If we have these weights, and we have box 1 is equal to 23 kilograms, and box 2 weighs 20 kilograms, what is the weight of box 3? And so now, we know that the average box weight is supposed to be 20. And if we have these three boxes, uh, we now are not finding the average. What we're doing now is we're finding an unknown box weight given an average. So we could set up our average by saying box 1 plus box 2, and I'm talking about weights here, plus box 3 all divided by 3, because there's 3 boxes, those average box weights have to be equal to 20. And I'm going to eliminate the units uh, and put them in at the end just to make it a little neater. And so really, I can solve this equation. So you might be able to do it by inspection. Can you see what it is? This one, this one is already the average. Can you see that this one is 3 more than the average? Does it make sense then that this one should be three below the average? Okay, well let's see. Box one is 23 kilograms. Oops, I said I was going to eliminate the units. Box three is 20. Box one is 23. 
plus box 2 is 20, plus box 3, which we don't know, all divided by 3 is equal to 20. And so now we can simplify this and we can say that 20 plus 23 is 43. 43 plus box 3 all divided by 3 is equal to 20. Now, you can think about this another way. What number, what number divided by 3 is equal to 20? Cross multiply, and you should be able to figure out that um, the number in that numerator, this whole numerator, has to be equal to 60. But nonetheless, we can still solve it mathematically, and what I'm going to do there, because really I have an unknown in my numerator, I'm going to put brackets around that. And I'm going to say 43 plus what number is equal to 3? And now I can cross multiply bottom to top, bottom to top, and I get 43 plus box 3 is equal to 3 times 20. So now I can remove my brackets and I have 43 plus box 3 and 3 times 20 is equal to 60. And now I just solve the equation by subtracting 43 from each side and when I subtract 43 from each side I get box 3 is equal to 60 minus 43 or box 3 is equal to 17. And that's just what we thought it was going to be based on the fact that this was 3 above the average. This one must be 3 below the average. But again, this was a special case because we had only 3. You really need to understand the concept that the average is just adding up the total number and then dividing by how many additions you've made. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a refresher on averages and how they work.